Welcome to the series of video belonging to a solar power irrigation system. My name is Tao and in this video we want to show you um, about the drip irrigation system, how they are installed, how they function and how they are operate. This example here shows the four most popular drip irrigation system, all connected on a demonstration rack. The first line shows three single dripper. Two of them connected with a mini tube spaghetti type and a spike, which hold the tube and fix it into to the soil, for example, flower pots. These dripper have one or multiple outlets. The spike can also function to guide the droplets into the soil, the root zone and not staying at the surface, subsoil irrigation. The third one is a single dripper connected to the polyethylene pipe. Normally, the polyethylene tube come apart from the pre-selected dripper. Therefore, the farmer or contractor must insert manually all of them while putting the irrigation system in place. Before the dripper can be inserted, holes must be made by hand with a self-selected distance. The holes can be made either by a puncture grip or with a thermoheat, gas hand welding. It is also possible to make holes with a battery driven hand drill. It is most important that appropriate pipe diameter are used, which are selected by the hydraulic calculation given by tables from the manufacturer. On the tube and pipes, you will find the diameter beside other information like name, material, drip type, and flow rate for easy identification. Normally, each drip pipe system comes with the appropriate full set of connectors which suit to the diameter and type of the PE pipes. For some of them are easy to disconnect for maintenance purpose. Normally end cups or closer are used on the opposite side. The second line shows an inline dripper. During the production of the inline drip pipe, the single dripper element will be injected during the extrusion process and attached at the inside of the conveyor polyethylene pipe at the given distance. Normally, two to three different diameter are available. The most common diameter are 16 mm and 20 mm. Widely used are flow rate of one to six liter per hour, which can be pre-selected. The outlet emission point should be placed on top. Therefore, you can visually observe the function. The third line shows again an inline dripper. This time it is a pressure compensated dripper and can be used for subsoil irrigation system, for example from 30 to 40 cm below ground. Special ingredient around the water outlet stop root system to enter the drip tubes, which is normally the case. Particular the pressure compensation is ideal for rolling terrains and slope. The prefabricated dripper work with a mini membrane, which open and close the outlet due to the pressure gains or lose in a higher or lower spot of the field. Even at the steep slope for vine yard, it works in a range of plus and minus 15% of the given flow rate. The fault line show a lay flat tape, a soft polyethylene tube coming in bigger rolls of approximately 1000 meters. Like other polyethylene pipe inline drip lines, uh, they are available in different diameters. Different wall thickness has a direct influence on the lifetime and usage of the tape. Very thin ones are only used for one crop and season. The stronger models can be wound up and reused. The outlet distance must be selected first. Normally 20 to 30 cm is common, which 
create a wetting band of approximately 20 to 30 cm along both sides of the drip line. That means 60 to 70 cm is wetted along round crop. Besides, there's a dry strip where tractors can drive or it can be used for other work. As a result, only approximately uh, 60 to 75 percent of the field is used for crop production and supply with water. The latest developments show lay flat tapes with inserted drippers, which is equal to PE pipes with inserted dripper. In a quite similar production process, the prefabricated dripper will be injected by a second machine to the tapes.